Hi, this is Paul from Way5Trade.com. This is Friday the 2nd of March and a, another example of one of our trade signal setups from our signal service. Our members get both long and short trade signals every day on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame to trade the fifth wave of an Elliott wave sequence, which is the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence. So this is the, um, the members area. This is potential long trades for today, the 2nd of March. And members simply just click on the image there and download the spreadsheet. So a quick look at the spreadsheet for longs today. We had a brutal sell off yesterday. So potentially if we get a bounce today, we've got some good longs here setting up. So on the 60 minute time frame, we have a hell of a lot of potential longs. So I'm just going to choose one of those. Let's have a look at the chart. OK, for this example, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade for the Think or Swim platform today. We also have it for Ninja Trader, Trade Station and Multi Charts. But I'm using the Think or Swim TOS version today. I've chosen BMY on the 60 minute time frame. So first of all, the filters that we get on the scanner membership on the results here. One of them is the 535 oscillator down here, this middle um, thing here. So we've got this um, oscillator pulled up on the wave three, and then we've got this crowning on this wave four. We're looking between a 90 to 140 percent. As long as that's in there, the scanner will pick that up and give those potential trade signals. Also, the stochastic crossing over in the overbought zone for long potential longs and our way for finding support in our automated pullback zones. For those members that have the indicator suite, I, so I isolated the wave count down at these lows at 5844 here. You can isolate it here as well. It makes no difference to the wave four here because this has been a really leisurely long wave four pullback here and hopefully found support now. So let's zoom into that bit there and have a, a, a bigger look here. OK. So first of all, the wave four did find initial support here in the green and then moved higher. And then the last couple of days sell off has made it go further down. So hopefully now we've found support. This is in our amber zone, which is an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high. Obviously, we'll need bullish markets to help us do that. So we're going to go for a, a conservative entry. We're going to go from 67.30, which is outside of this 6.4 moving average high, uh, green moving average here, which is our conservative entry strategy. So way outside of there for today, but also outside of this pivot point um, from a couple of days ago as well. So this was the last time it tried to move higher, but then the bearish markets just sent it further down. So we need to make sure that this is really going for it, especially as it's being a Friday. But we can't be scared to get in these trades because if we get a bullish bounce today and it continues Monday, this could be a good trade. We are looking at a target of around 7160. In This is our automated target zone here up in purple or blue, depending on your color perception there. So we're looking for the stop loss just below the wave four at 6475. We've got a 6730 entry. So we've got a risk to reward of one to 1.6 into our automated target zone there at around about 7160. So just be careful, be conservative with this type of setup, especially when the markets are still trying to settle down. But we can't be scared of this volatility. If this have found support now, everything's lining up. The stochastics crossed over turning up. The 535 is within 90 to 140 percent. We'd like that to crown. We would see that crowning today if that starts to move up and through the 6.4 moving average high here. And then the conservative entry uh, through this pivot point here would see us going long. It may not trigger today. Uh, if it does go slightly lower, we need to adjust our stop loss and entry. But at this moment in time, before the markets open, this is a really good setup for BMY on the 60 minute time frame. So that's it for today from wave5trade.com. Have a great trading day and a great weekend.